LearnHowToShootGuns.com presents What to Bring With You to the Range. Now, before we even discuss what to bring with you, let's start off with what not to bring. Beer. Do not ever bring alcohol to a firing range. This is not something you're doing. It's just a tailgate. This is a very serious endeavor. If you show up with beer, you're an idiot. Please go home. Moving around the table, I'm going to show you everything you need to acquire before you go to a gun range. Um, your average sports store will have every bit of this gear, but it's important that you acquire at least the bare minimums. I'm going to start off first with the stuff that is absolutely necessary, and then I'll move to the luxury items and things you might want to acquire later. At the very beginning, you want ear protection. Um, ear protection comes in several different forms. What you have to realize is that the sound of a firing gun is loud enough to damage your eardrums permanently. So for something as simple as this little foam insert you stuff inside your ear, you can save your hearing. Uh, mark my words, you will at some point run into some old fella on a range who can't hear a daggone thing. Uh, these come in lots of, far lots of forms, from the very simple to stick in your ear to the more advanced ones that look like Mickey Mouse ears. Um, and if you go further into the sport, you get to the electronic noise canceling ones that the little light tells me that this is on. Uh, what this does is it has a battery inside it that cancels out any noise above the level your ears can tolerate, but it still allows you to hear conversational tones. So if somebody says something like, hey, is that a rattlesnake by your feet? You can still hear them. The next thing you want to protect beyond your ears is your eyes. Um, as you shoot, you will notice that brass flies out of the guns at odd angles. To keep it from hitting you in the eyes, they make lots of shooting glasses. You can get the regular clear kind, you get ones that look like sunglasses. If you wear prescription glasses, not a problem. You put on a little of these side shields. It's kind of hard to see here, but they're clear plastic side shields that fit on the side. Uh, they'll keep brass from hitting you in the eye. Uh, the next thing you want is a hat. It's a regular old baseball hat with a brim. If you want to look cool, you want a military hat or a police hat. The purpose of the brim is to keep brass as it's flying up in the air from falling down the front of your shirt. The brass is hot enough that it may actually burn your skin, so keeping it out of your clothing while you're shooting is kind of important. Next thing you're going to want is gun cleaning gear. A standard gun cleaning kit like this, I don't know, $20, $30, very important. You need to take care of your gun so when your gun is needed, it will take care of you. It should have the following components at a minimum. You're going to want a push rod, a brush to clean the barrel. Um, you'll want an eye ring to be able to put patches through your barrel. Some of them will come with these little, they almost feel like lamb's wool, that are also used to clean your barrel. You know, a scrub brush type device. Some of them have these little dental hook looking devices for pulling out all the stuff that might jam up your gun. Uh, you're also going to want some chemical gun cleaner. You spray this in all the parts that are dirty to help break up all the carbon that's compressed in there. And then lastly, you're going to want to put some sort of lubricating oil in there. Uh, it's all very important to keep your, your gun functioning properly. Uh, next thing you're going to want to bring, obviously, is your gun. Real important piece of equipment there. Also bring any spare magazines that you have. Uh, you want to test fire every bit of your equipment and make sure it's always in working order. You know, bring the carrier that your gun came in so you, you know, make sure that you have everything that's supposed to be with it. I also want you to bring at least two different kinds of ammunition. Uh, I have an article coming about this in the future. The reason you bring at least two, you'd really want three or four if you're new to this gun, is to see if you have any malfunctions or feeding issues. Some guns don't really work with some types of ammunition, and you can read all you want, but really the only way to figure this out is to go out and try. You're also going to want some targets. Now, I recommend targets that have faces on it. I'll get into that in a future article as well, but for right now, these targets are smaller and fit on my table. If you're going to carry your pistol concealed, you're going to want to take whatever holster it is and maybe get a few of them and try them out and make sure you're comfortable with them, how they operate, how they feel on your body. Um, make sure you can draw without throwing the holster down range. Uh, you also are going to want to bring your spare magazine pouches and make sure you practice with those as well. If you're going to do any kind of concealed carry, 
you should take some sort of called a sweep vest but all it is is it's it's basically a black fishing vest I don't know how well you can see it here but it just fits over your torso and covers up your hips you know really a sports jacket will work anything that buttons in the front any kind of shirt with collar uh, you just need to be able to conceal your hips and get used to that draw motion as you slide your hand past that garment to get to your pistol uh, you're also going to want if you a, a weapons data book uh, this will keep track of all the rounds that have been through that weapon, any malfunctions, any problems, anything you did or didn't like about your gear, you can keep track in here. Um, how ammo performed, whether you liked your your new holster, whether you like your new gun. Um, if you're having problems with your gun, this is the place to keep a track of it. Uh, the next one is, this is what a spent shell looks like. These things become gold if you get into reloading. So what you're going to want is some sort of bag to collect these when you're done shooting. Even if you don't reload, it's just it's a good idea to clean up the range and keep it safe and clean for everybody else. It's basically being a good citizen out on the range. And lastly, under the category of looking cool, you're going to want some sort of range bag. You know, basically, it's, it's just a carry bag as any other. You could use your old gym bag from high school, but if you want to be in with the in crowd, you get one that says has the name of some shooting company on it. This particular one's a Glock. And all it does is it, it's just a big container to hold all your gear, some heavy duty straps so all this weight doesn't break the bag. And that's about it. But take a look at my table full of stuff here. And you really want to go to the sporting goods store and at least get the basics before you ever step near a range.